Hello YouTube. I'm coming to you from Cooper's Creek or the uh, road that uh, crossed Cooper's Creek, a big concrete um, flat bridge which has been completely inundated with water in the recent rains. It's not like we've had that heavy rain, it's just really that the soil's been so saturated that even small amounts of rain cause angry waterways and it's quite a powerful amount of water coming down Cooper's Creek. Um, bits of silt in it as well as you can see but yeah again yeah, not something that happens more than once or twice a year and no way vehicles are getting through this they'd just be washed off down the river. Anyway thought I'd start the video with uh, this sobering picture. And now for something entirely different. I'm in Rouse at the moment and um, I thought I'd stop and show you what an irrigated macadamia farm looks like. And I'm just at the edge of a farm here, uh, but we're able to see from outside the farm irrigation lines running along the trees. Now they're not like some irrigated crops irrigated through drip or under the under the ground surface it has to be above the ground because obviously harvesters still have to come in and harvest the nuts so you can see there there's a you know herbicided strip under the trees there's some decent nuts dropping the cables run along the the bottom there and every so often there's a little um, spray jet which sprays water or most of the time um, when it's needed and of course in climatic periods like this um, irrigation isn't needed at all the ground's absolutely wet there's been a ton of rain um, in Rouse as there has been in Rosebank and the rest of the northern rivers irrigation is in fact the norm in places like Bundaberg where you've got too little rain in a given year to produce large macadamia crops and irrigation is done on a large scale. The irrigators there are a little bit worried at the moment because uh, they have um, a, a large reliance on the Paradise Dam which has some structural problems and can only hold about 40% of its full capacity and the irrigation water that some farmers have already bought and paid for um, isn't coming to them or, or can't come to them because of the dam's structural problems. Now that's going to be a long story there's a lot a lot more ahead including possibly a class action but uh, there's there's um, some problems for irrigators there. But um, on the question of irrigation generally should you irrigate? Why would you irrigate in the northern rivers? Obviously in a year like this um, Irrigators, you know, infrastructure is a waste of money. You don't, you just don't need it. And um, in general, the Northern Rivers has enough rainfall to produce a good crop without any irrigation. Um, and that's what you want. You know, we get reasonable rains from November through to about May, and then things dry up a bit. And then we don't usually, hopefully, get rain in September when it will ruin flowers and, um, and reduce the available crop. But there are still some farmers, including this one, who believe in irrigation. And the stories you hear are that having irrigation to even out the moisture, to provide a more steady stream of moisture, can improve kernel recovery. Uh, can improve sort of nut quantity and quality. And of course, when you get a dry year, like the 2019-2020 season that we've just been through, uh, the, those who irrigate, of course, are able to cash in a lot more. Another advantage is you don't have to put just water down these lines. You can do what's called fertigation, which is a cross between irrigation and fertilising, surprisingly enough. Uh, and you can add nutrients, obviously, in a mechanised way, Along your, along your drip line. And because macadamia trees roots are very close to the trunk, they don't spread out, and they don't have a tap root. This form of irrigation is, is entirely um, compatible with liquid feeding. 
Uh, again, it's really just a supplement. You don't want to make it, I don't think these farmers would make it the whole of their feeding and you still need organic matter, which is the gold standard of any farm. But it's, look, it's, a, it's an advantage. Um, the disadvantages, well, you know, obviously the capital cost of setting up irrigation, you're needing to put star pickets in the ground, um, you need to obviously spend a lot on hose, and you can get blockages, and ultimately it costs electricity to push water through. Um, you also need a water source, although around here there are often bore sources and other sources that are good but you can't have too foul water because you'll gum up the works causing expensive downtime so when you go irrigation you really have to be pretty serious you really have to go the whole hog with irrigation in order to get your value th from it um, damage can also occur of course because it's not just nuts that fall from macadamia trees sometimes you can get a big branch um, in a wind storm um, you know, you might have your pickets blown over, um, heavy rain might affect um, the hose. And um, we have some rogue black cockatoos, um, particularly up around the Queensland sort of irrigation area, where sometimes the, the birds, which are natural vandals, will come land on the um, irrigation lines and bite through them just for fun. Um, that's... Uh, those are all occupational hazards of irrigation. Um, but, you know, these farmers, they do the maths. They clearly see an advantage in doing it. And if they make some money from it um, with better nuts and better kernel recovery, then you think they could recoup the costs and, of course, insulate themselves against the effect of drier years. So there's a little sort of mini take on the irrigation question for macadamias. Um, for myself, it's not something I'd consider, even though I've got a massive dam full of uh, full of nice clean water that could be used for the purpose. I think I'd prefer to rely on natural rainfall and the turn of the seasons and hope for the best from natural natural uh, precipitation. Having said that, this is a nice farm. There are lots of nice farms around here. Uh, most of them aren't irrigated and I've stopped at one or two and the nuts on the ground at the moment are looking pretty nice. I mean, really, there's some really good crops starting to fall. Uh, I don't know what the varieties of tree are and whether they've really started their nut drop yet, but what's on the ground here looks very good indeed. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, we're hopefully seeing the end of the rain for a while shortly so that we can get out and start doing some harvesting and some cleaning up of our overgrown headlands um, but I'll bring another video uh, related to that when the time comes. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye for now.